Okay, we're back at the Specky, and uh, the past couple of days I've been uh, trying to uh, load software onto the Specky uh, without using the tape deck. Now the tape deck's fine and uh, it works, you know. It, it uh, uh, but I have to have tapes, and I don't have that many. Uh, and some of the games that I that I want uh, aren't just readily available. So I was looking for a way to feed my Specky with software uh, in uh, a different way. Now, there is uh, a piece of software which is called uh, OTLA and what it basically does is read uh, tape images and convert them into sound. Um, now you can have it convert the files into mp3 or, oh sorry, um, but it can also uh, produce sound directly. Now the problem that I was having uh, is that it wasn't working for me. Uh, I was getting tape load errors as if the volume going into the spectrum wasn't high enough so um, I tried uh, hooking it up to my uh, laptop here uh, here I tried hooking it up to my PC but in in all of the cases the volume just appeared to be too low now I was talking to uh, John Ferguson and uh, and Mark from uh, Mark fixes stuff and he said well you know try and find uh, an inline amplifier uh, for a headphone so I did um, uh, but there are they are quite expensive there are many uh, amplifiers out there um, that cost quite a bit of money and and really improve the quality of the sound after it's been amplified by the main amplifier uh, just to to get a better sound uh, on your headphones now so uh, I was stuck because I, I couldn't get a cheap uh, amplifier. I'm, I'm not skilled enough to build one, but what I what I did do uh, is a long time ago uh, I bought this uh, guitar amplifier. Now this baby is pretty old. The Profile Cyclone Series PM1 is something that you would clip to your belt and uh, you you would. Uh, plug in your guitar on the in uh, jack and it would come out amplified so I just thought why don't I try that one and guess what it works if I boost the volume my spectrum understands what's going on so I just wanted to uh, show you how that works I'm gonna have to change the camera angle so I'll be back in a sec I think I have manic minor somewhere um, uh, we can use Batman anyway. I use Batman. I say uh, open now. It's it's opened uh, the file. I've selected uh, the correct model here. All I have to do now is turn on the Specky. There we go. Um, now I can press uh, load. Go like that and press play here. and it'll load Batman and it'll do so because um, my amplifier is amplifying the volume for the spectrum otherwise I'd, I, I'd never uh, get this far I'd, I'd, I wouldn't get the um, uh, the load screen I just uh, get lo tape load errors but this is uh, Batman press enter to select and press any key to uh, okay enter and then play the game And again, you know, for, for its uh, monochromosity, if that's a word at all, <laughs> this is actually pretty good. Now look at this. And when you do nothing for a while, he starts tapping his foot. <laughs> I love that. See that? Oh, I love that. This is a... I haven't worked out the uh, the keys, but look at this. The quality of my TV isn't very good. I've I've done this on on the uh, on the big screen uh, TV, and it makes it a lot better. But uh, 
just wanted to show you the process uh, of using OTLA. Uh, it, it almost works, but at least the main thing is that my my amplifier uh, is required um, to boost the volume out of the out of the line out, and uh, I suspect that this has something to do with um, the fact that uh, manufacturers uh, protect our ears by limiting the volume coming out of this so you have to amplify it um maybe that's because i live in europe maybe that's it maybe another or um maybe when you have an old computer or uh old sound hardware you can you can just boost the volume i couldn't do that so um i had to use that but it works and i just wanted to show that well Thank you guys. I'm off for a short vacation, so uh, I'll see you guys in about a week. Bye-bye.